So there really is no easy way for me to say this. There's nothing fun or woody I could say. There isn't any, there isn't any, you know, metaphor I could do. I've got absolutely nothing. So, it's best to just come out and say it. Yesterday my grandmother died. I mean, for the moment, I am at peace overall. I mean, I literally, literally after yesterday's video, I get the call that she, that she's gone. And in yesterday's video, if you recall, I said, you know, I literally, the title, the title of the video was, at this point in my life, whatever happens, happens. And that's true. But I didn't think it would happen this soon. And I certainly didn't think it would hit me this bad. At the moment, I'm in that stage of, when I find myself not thinking about it, I wind up thinking about it. And, you know, it's fitting that it rained yesterday. Like the crazy weather we had, if anything, the heavens were weeping for my grandmother. She was a very religious woman. And, you know, I mean, I, I did, I mean, I did see her the day before she passed. And, you know, she was awake. You know, she saw me. You know, I gave her a couple kisses on the forehead. And that was the last time I saw her. Well, technically yesterday I did see her too. Just uh, not under the grace of circumstances. Uh, a lot of people in my family are taking it hard. You know, it's been a while since I've seen my mother cry as much as she has. You know, my father is taking it pretty hard too. Honestly, the only people that, I'm the only other person outside of myself who has for the most part remained strong is well, my brother. And I mean, he walked in, saw my grandmother and had to leave the, uh, leave, get out of the house because this, this all happened at my grandmother's, at my grandparents' house. I don't think anyone's taking it worse than my grandfather, though. I mean, he tried to lighten the mood a little bit by asking me what size uh, shoe I wear. Because, uh, for those of you who don't know, I wear like, uh, like 12 and a half, 4E, so I have a very wide foot. I mean, he's trying to, I get that my grandfather was no, listen, I'm, I'm not shaming this at all. He's trying to cope with it the only way he knows how. He's trying to relieve the tension the only way he knows how. So, it's, I mean, I literally went to bed last night thinking how sad it was that my grandmother passed. Only to wake up wanting to almost, almost immediately think about it again. Uh, I mean, I haven't bawled my eyes out yet. You know, I've again remained pretty stable, I suppose. But I do get the feeling that come the funeral, you know, I'm sure I'm going to be seeing someone who's crying. That's going to get me to cry, I bet. I'm sure that's what will happen. 
But again, it is what it is. Whatever happens, happens. Uh, I mean, I mean, when I first started making videos, I knew what the risks were going to be making these videos every single day. I really knew. I knew what they were going in. You know, I knew that there'd be a lot of happy days. And thank God there have been. I knew there'd be a lot of sad days. Which, obviously I wish didn't happen, but here we are. And, you know, and I even said this yesterday too. I mean, we all want to live forever, but that's, that's nothing short of, you know, the same prop, but a similar problem, but for the opposite reason. I mean, living forever, living forever wouldn't be good if you were the only one doing it. Because no matter what, you'd be alone. And thankfully, my grandmother wasn't alone when she passed. You know, my grandfather was right there. I mean, again, they all, they sleep in like the same living area. And the hospital bed was like right next to my grandfather. And around four o'clock in the morning, she was, you know, moving and, you know, grabbing at the wall. So, honestly, the video I made happened at least an hour after, after she passed. And I didn't know. I couldn't have known. But, uh, we're getting the funeral arrangements ready. It's not, um, not something that, uh, we want to do, but it's gotta be done. Oh, gosh. Monday's gonna be a long day. It's gonna be a really long day. I'm not looking forward to it, but then again, at least I'm not the only one. But, I still have a video to make. We had an episode of The Masked Singer last night. So let's at least talk about that. Maybe lift up my spirits. That's how sad I am. I don't even care that my computer isn't plugged in. Okay, so, uh, season 11, episode 6, Transformers Night. I mean, this was a really, I mean, hopefully this will lift up everyone's spirits. This really was a fun episode. It was. I mean... We actually had a wild card in the koala. I didn't think we'd get a wild card, but we do. So I'm guessing Group B is also gonna have a wild card in a couple weeks. But um, the Starfish opened up with the 21 Guns by Green Day. Love that song. Um, Ugly Sweater did Brick House by the Commodores. Love that song too. Uh, Love Bird did All That You Are by the Goo Goo Dolls. Um, Goldfish did a uh, baby come back, and the koala did everybody wants to rule the world by Cheers for Fears, and the performances were all pretty great. They were, but uh, we have a group C. We have a group group C group A finale next week, so we had a double elimination. 
and it was both the lovebird and the koala. The uh, lovebird was uh, Colton Underwood, and the koala was uh, Demarcus Ware, which I can personally be happy about because he was a Dallas Cowboy until he went to the Broncos and won a Super Bowl with the Broncos. But, you know, he's in the Hall of Fame. That's awesome. That, that makes me happy. And plus, DeMarcus Ware can sing. And honestly, I love how when DeMarcus Ware got um, unmasked, he talked about how his entire career he was wearing a mask. And he was doing that to, you know, sad quarterbacks. It was, um, there's a, there's a cars outside. But wearing, like, a mask on the mask Singer, and Colton Underwood talked about this too when he got unmasked. It's like wearing that mask, whether the contestant realizes or not, you may not be able to see their face, but you can tell that there's just this level of freedom that the contestant has. And it allows them to be their true selves. And that's that's one of the many reasons why this show really is as good as it is. Although, um, it's probably coming across that I'm making Transformers Night underwhelming. I'm actually doing that on purpose because I want to talk about the main thing I was hoping that would happen, and it happened. For those of you who don't know, in last week's video when I talked about, um, you know, the group C finale, and I talked about how Transformers Night was next, Obviously, you were going to get some representation of, like, Optimus Prime or Megatron and stuff like that. And if they got Optimus Prime and or Megatron, we didn't get Megatron, but, you know, that's fine. I mean, obviously I know that he wouldn't be real, because, but, you know, Megatron can be scary. He can be. Especially when he's voiced by Frank Walker or David K. But speaking of which, we did get Optimus Prime. And that is the voice of Peter Cullen, if I ever heard it. We got the original voice of Optimus Prime. And seriously, Peter Cullen is in his 80s. And he can still do this. That's actually why voiceover acting is something I've always wanted to do. Because if you're really good at it, you can have a long and storied career. And he does. I mean... Yeah, pretty much any time I've ever talked about Peter Cullen, I talked about how he was Optimus Prime. But he's in other stuff too. I mean, I talked about how he was, how like growing up, he was like the voice of Toonami. He was also the voice of Eeyore in Winnie the Pooh. Um, so yeah, he's done other stuff. And that's great. And it's so cool I got to hear Peter Cullen's voice again. I am like, seriously, Peter Cullen is like a national treasure. Oh, I can say that about a lot of voiceover actors. But it's Peter Cullen's moment, so we'll talk about Peter Cullen. Peter Cullen is a national treasure. You know, he must be protected at all costs. And um, I will admit, I uh, this is going to sound kind of silly, but I myself have been working on my impression of Peter Cullen doing Optimus Prime. Admittedly, it's uh, not very good, but um, see if I can get a character. I am Optimus Prime. Transform and roll out. Yeah, it's not very good, but you know, Seriously, what you heard was actually with a surprisingly a lot of brackets. And it still doesn't sound very good. Uh, but, again, yesterday's episode of The Mass Singer was wonderful. It really was. I don't want to, I mean, I don't want to, I mean, I can't emphasize enough. Watching The Mass Singer was something that really loved my spirits. I mean... It could, I mean, listen, I lost my grandmother yesterday. You know, something can only lift my spirit so much until, you know, it kind of wears off. 
But I had a lot of fun watching this. You know, this was a wonderful, wonderful episode. It was. It was great hearing Peter call him again. The performances were great. Next week, we have the Group A finale, which is Queen Night, which, I mean, I'm really looking forward to that. I love Queen. Pretty much anyone watching this video probably likes Queen. So, for what it's worth, you know, I'm feeling okay at the moment. I am. I mean, my grandmother can rest easy. Um, you know, my grandfather seems to be really, I mean, yeah, my grandfather is absolutely sad. I mean, how can you not be? They were together for 71 years. You know, but he's relieved that it's over. It's going to be a rough couple of days and definitely sometime after. And summers up in Kiko Lake just won't be the same, but I know for a fact I've been through a lot worse, both physically and emotionally, but not much worse than this. So, it's like, it's like what Peter Feynman said in Ghostbusters too. Like, I've worked with, I worked with great, but not many or something like that. Or, I worked with better, but not many. That's what it was. And, yeah, there have been worse situations in my life that are technically worse than losing my grandmother. But, not much is worse than this. But, I'm okay. Just gonna have to do what I've always done and take things one day at a time. And that's why I still do this. That's why even now, in spite of, you know, the limited subscriber number and the fact I'm not getting paid for this, that's why I still do it. Because, I mean, really, I mean, no one's life truly is perfect, but life really is bittersweet. And making these videos every day is the sweet needed to counteract the bitter. At least that's what I've come to conclude. That's what I've concluded to. So, um, I hope you all liked this video. And if you did, you know, thank you for indulging me. You know, I'm still very humble. I made this for all of you to watch. I hope you have a wonderful day. Still raining out. Seriously, it rained all day. It rained a lot yesterday. No surprise. I mean, there were some patches of, you know, nice weather too. But, um, I hope, regardless of what the weather is, I still hope you have a wonderful day. And, uh, remember if any of you want to talk, a channel is going to be here to let me know. Always have your back. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.